In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some video editing tools that can actually save you a ton of time with your edits. I also wanna thank my friends over at Envato Elements for supporting today's video. Using my link below, you can get 70% off your first month. I'll tell you more about them later on, but for now, let's go ahead and jump on in. First up is Runway ML. If you don't know what Runway ML is, it's essentially an online video editor. So you can do all your editing in your web browser. You don't have to download anything. Here from the web browser, you can click on AI Magic Tools and it will show you a bunch of different AI Magic Tools that you can try out for both audio, video, and image. So I'm gonna show you three of their video tools that I think you're gonna find really useful. The first one is In Painting. In Painting allows you to remove people or objects from your video. Now, removing objects from images is really easy to do in Photoshop. If you wanna learn how to do that, you can just click right up here, but this is in video. So here we have this video clip and let's say we want to remove the ship in the background. We're just going to brush over it just like this. And then it'll just take a second to load up and then we can play it back and the ship is completely gone. We didn't have to do anything manual. The Magic AI tool removed it for us. Let's try it with one more. Let's say you wanna remove tourists from your scenes. Go ahead and just get rid of them here by painting over them. And once you lift off your brush, it starts to in paint and basically predict and create new pixels in place of where those people were. And now we can play it back and just like that, it's gone. Comparing this to the current workflow for content aware fill and After Effects, Runway's tool is a lot faster, but try it out for yourself. There's a free trial and I've just put a link below. Another one of the AI magic tools is the remove background. So you just have to click on the subject and it will detect the edges to rotoscope it out and mask it to remove it from the background, which is something that takes a long time to do inside of Premiere Pro. And it's still okay in After Effects. The Rotobrush tool works fairly well, but I find that I've been getting better results using Runway ML. So you can click on remove background to do it to one particular clip, which you can export with a transparent background, but you can also create a new project and you can start from one of these magic tools, such as the green screen, which is the remove background. And then we can go and choose the clip we want to use. So I'm gonna drag my clip into the composition. Now we're going to select various points, such as the black, the green, the skin tone, and the hair. So that way Runway ML knows what parts we need to select. And you can see it didn't do a perfect job, but you can click here, for example, to tell it to select this part and this part of his shoe as well. And if you need to go in and make more refinements, you can always go up to zoom to 200%, press H to the hand tool to select and go down. And then we can refine using the brush tool to select this area. And then shift F to get it to zoom into frame. And now you can see we have our selection just with a few clicks. And Runway ML will start to predict and do a perfect mask around our running subject. And it's super fast and this is all online. From here, you can actually export this. So if you wanted to export it with a transparency background, you can choose ProRes and it will put a transparency layer behind it and select export mask. But in this case, we're actually going to select done masking. Now we have our subject completely cut out. Now we can go and go to assets and bring the original down here. So that way we can stack this one on video two and this one on video layer one. Now we can put text behind him, for example. So you can select the text tool and then we can just type in runner, for example, and edit the text quickly here to a new font. And then we can bring the text between these two clips. So now we have the text behind him between the foreground and the background. And the reason why I'm showing you this is you can actually edit your videos inside of Runway ML's project builder here. And there's so much that you can do within this. For example, you can select this and go over to effects and filters, and you can add filters directly to this foreground layer, for example, and you can add animation to the text. So we can go to animate and we can choose slide left, slide right, slide up, for example, and then go back to the timeline, and now you can see it animates in. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of different effects where you can edit your entire video inside of Runway ML. And if you need to bring this into your other editor, not to worry, you can always go up to export and send it off 
to your other editing program. There's one more tool inside of Runway ML I wanna show you. The text to color grade is really cool. Here we can choose the video clip that we want to add a color grade to just by using text. So you don't have to know anything about color grading, you just have to describe it and the robot, the AI, will then apply it to your footage. So I have this diner clip from Envato Elements. Let me open this up. So one thing that I thought of was what if I wanted to emulate certain color grades that I love from popular Hollywood films like Pulp Fiction. And then it will just start to think and apply what the internet, what the AI tool has in the database of Pulp Fiction and apply it to this clip. So this is the result. That's what the original looks like. It did a pretty good job. Her skin's a little bit yellow, but it did a good job at emulating Pulp Fiction. It would be great if there was controls here where you can like turn down certain things or maybe say a little less yellow of a skin tone. That would be awesome. If you like this grade, you can go ahead and download the .cube file, which you can use in any video editor and apply it to your footage in your timeline, or you can export it with the color grade applied. Let's try a couple more. Washed out. All right, the washed out look I really like. It did a good job at washing out the colors, comparing it to the original. Orange and teal. All right, it did a pretty good job and we can toggle to compare it to the original into the process. So once you've typed a command and you type it again in the same section, it will remember it so it doesn't have to load again. All right, this video is from Runway ML's YouTube channel. This box can make any idea real. That's exactly what I just showed you about the text to color grade to make it look more cinematic. So that's one piece of this becoming a reality. And that was the in painting. And that's exactly what the future is right there is before we had to select it and actually click it for the AI to work. And now the future we hope will be if we just type in green screen the character out it'll do it for us automatically. I love this video and I hope that other video tools are starting to look at this and be like, okay, we need to start working on this AI text to video. So go to runway.ml, sign up for the free trial and start testing them out. And the more you test it, the better it will get. So there are a few more tools that are really awesome that you have to see. But first I wanna tell you about Envato Elements. But Elements just doesn't have graphic elements. It has pretty much any category that you can imagine. Here on the website, you can see that there's a category for stock video clips. There's video templates for all these different softwares. And of course there's music and sound effects and the sound effects library is fantastic. If I need to find any type of sound that I need, it can be for documentaries, for your YouTube channel, for your client project, it has it. Another category that a lot of people don't know that is there are presentation templates. And I recently ran a workshop and I was like, oh, I need a, a template for Google Slides. And I was able to go through and select Google Slides and go down here and find a really nice template that I was able to import into Google Slides and use for my workshop. And also you can download free files too. If you scroll down, you can go to free monthly files and here you can download all of these assets that you can use for free in your projects forever. You can use my link below, which looks like this and you can get 70% off your first month and you can try it out for your projects. And what's really great is even if you decide it's not for you, you will still have those licenses available for those projects in the assets that you downloaded. So you don't lose the license once you stop your subscription. Thank you to Envato Elements for sponsoring today's video. And now let's jump back into the video. All right, the next one is called Time Bolt. And this one's really cool because you can remove silences and lulls in a long interview or a long take. So I use Premiere Pro for this, but remember that you can use it with other software as well. Here inside my timeline, you can see that there's gaps in here where I didn't say anything. And normally you'd have to go in and manually cut this, but with Time Bolt, it can detect that for you and remove it. It's a separate app here that you can download. And by the way, you can use code PremierGal to get 20% off your order. I put a link to Timebolt just down below. The way it works is you select your video and audio file and press open. So as you scroll down, you can see the red parts are the areas that are going to be removed, the silences that are unnecessary. As we scroll down, you can see that we can make adjustments. So you can filter below a certain decibel to filter out, and you can also add 
padding, and you can also ignore detections that are shorter than a certain amount. So you can play around with these parameters and then update the silence detection and select save timeline cuts. And then this is going to output what is called a JSON file to save all those cuts. So now from Premiere Pro, I can open up the Time Bolt extension, which you need to install when Premiere Pro is closed. It's actually quite easy to do. So now there's a couple options here. We can select create cuts, but don't delete the silences. And let me just show you this one first. So select create cuts, but don't delete and select apply JSON file and hit open. And look what happens. It just automatically makes all the cuts here in the timeline to create those jump cuts while still retaining the original media. And the reason why I chose don't delete is I wanted to show you the red areas that it automatically labeled as the unwanted silences. The output file will be shorter by three minutes and 33 seconds. So it saved us a decent amount of time and we didn't have to scrub through and see it. So using this method, you can then select the silence and press shift delete to ripple delete that out, or we can choose to have it delete it for us. And this time I'm going to uncheck this so it will delete the silences. Make sure the clip is selected, apply JSON file, and now it's going to make all those cuts and remove those silences automatically. But don't worry, that original media is still there. So this is the version that it spit out with all of the jump cuts. Of course, you still have to go through. Obviously, I made mistakes here. The first step, the first update is the one. So we're going to delete these and shift delete. So you still have to go through and use your filter as a human to make those creative decisions, which take is best. Obviously, the AI tool here can't detect that. And also, there may be a version that the AI might think is better, but you actually don't like. There's still that creative human component of building the story out as an editor, at least for now. This AI tool is just helping you get there. It's gonna cut out those silences so you can get to the finish line faster. And coming soon to Time Bolt, they're going to have an um check remover so you can remove those ums as well, which can help, especially if you have a very long interview where there's lots of ums and lots of silences and you just wanna process all of that so you can get to the creative part faster. If you wanna try Time Bolt, you can use my code PremiereGal to get 20% off. You can find everything just down below. And last and certainly not least in this video is La La Lie. <laughs> It's L-A-L-A-L dot A-I, and it can be used in the web version or you can download an app to use it as well. Essentially, you can extract the vocals from the background music and it will auto do that for you. La La Light can also be used, for example, if you're streaming a video and there's some copyright music in the background that you can't have playing to avoid a copyright strike on YouTube, you can upload that clip of you talking with the music in the background and extract the music to avoid the copyright claim. And it's not just separating music too. You can also improve audio. So for example, I have this old clip of my grandpa telling stories that my aunt reached out to me and was like, hey, can you remove some of the background noise? It's hard to hear him. And I was like, let me see what I can do. And it was a perfect way for me to use this tool. And I'm going to select file, grandpa one, and press open. And while it's processing, I'm going to open up the original. Which was about 100 yards from our home. It was like a little, little alley. So you can hear that it has this loud humming noise behind. So let's go ahead and play the voice. Which was about 100 yards from our home. It was like a little, little alley. It sounds a lot better, right? Here's the noise in the background. Which was about 100 yards from our home. It was like a little, little alley. Which was about 100 yards from our home. It was like a little just sounds a lot better, right? It's really awesome. So then you can process the entire file and download it. And then I'm going to sync it back with the original video. The free trial comes with 10 minutes for free, but you can upgrade to pro plans. And I'll put a link below if you want to check that out. But to compare this to another one, for example, called Adobe Podcast, let me show you the difference. I'm going to upload this WAV file here and I want you to hear the difference. Here's a grandpa enhanced from Adobe Podcast. Which was about a hundred yards from our home. 
it sounds completely different. It did a great job at removing the background noise and enhancing the speech, but it doesn't sound like him at all. Which was about 100 yards from our home. Which was about 100 yards from our home. The AI tool hasn't quite gotten there yet, but I can already tell that through La La Lai and Adobe enhanced speech that it's getting there. So as you can see from these tools, some of them are there. Some of them are in the future and some of them can use some improvement as well. Let me know which tools you're excited about just down below. And also let me know if there's some AI tools that you started using that has really helped you out. I always am up for checking out new tools. And if you want me to do more videos like this where I break down and show you how to use different types of AI tools, give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, as always, keep creating better video with Gal. Thanks so much, bye. Ooh.